Welcome out to St John's and of course the Culture Vallon area with me is Ruth, the Manx language officer these days and um, Kush again. I mean, I, I think we do this every year, but it's fantastic to get the word out there and I know it gets uh, bigger and bigger every year. So next week is on. Yes, Tell us about it. indeed. So it's on between the Wednesday the 2nd of November and Sunday the 6th of November um, and it's taking place over five days and it's got 14 events this year. So yeah, it has grown a bit in size <laughs> since the last year and the year before. And we're back that. to normality almost as well, which is well, great, Well, this it? is it, yeah. So it, it feels, <laughs> it's nice to be able to go out and do loads and loads of different things with loads of people. Okay, for the uninitiated. Tell us about it. What, what is it about? So the Kush is a Manx language festival. It takes place every year in November, um, about the first kind of week of November, really. Um, we've made it a five-day festival this year. It's been slightly shorter in the past, but actually there's so many things that you can possibly do that we thought, right, well, we'll do it in five days. And there really is something for everybody. You don't have to be a Manx speaker to attend. You can be curious about Manx, interested in finding out more about the language. Um, but also, you know, right anywhere on your learning journey right through to a fluent speaker so there really is you know something that we've organized to try and attract everybody to finding out more about Manx. So really first timers can go in and, and experience something? Absolutely yeah we've got a program a bilingual program you can find mm -hmm. it in Manx and in, and in well Manx and in English <laughs> nice. um, and there's various different things going on so you can go to a pop-up beginner lunchtime lesson if you're working in Douglas for example and you fancy going to a half hour lunchtime lesson you can go and do that at the Henry Bloom Noble Library on Wednesday the 2nd of November. There's two different time slots, hopefully to fit in nicely. And um, there's things like um, Christmas song workshops as well for beginners. So if you want to learn Manx Gaelic Christmas songs, there's some beautiful one, uh, ones out there. You can come along and do a workshop, so there's those. There's even a pop-in event um, at the Institute in Laxey throughout the day on Saturday the 5th of November. That's from 11 till 4. And there'll be Manx language crafts to buy. There'll be refreshments, delicious ones, um, games, easy games in Manx, activities you can take part in with the whole family, um, and opportunities to chat to the people who work and promote the Manx language and find out what they do and you know learn bits of mm. Manx while you're there. But you know, that's a really open and inclusive event from, ev you know, everybody, whether you're just faking, taking your first steps into Manx or whether, yeah, you've been speaking for years. Because it's, it's always going to be a journey, isn't it? Learning and getting more experience and, and just the whole thing. It's like any language, you learn things all the time, I'm guessing. Yeah, you do. I mean, yeah, fluent speakers are still learning things all the time. Yeah. I learn new English words all the time. You know, <laughs> we think, oh, I don't know what that means. So, yeah, it's a learning journey and you're on it. Um, but it's fun and, and it becomes even more fun when you meet other people and, be mm. you know, get new friendships out of it as well. I was going to say, that's probably the nice thing, isn't it? Meeting other people, making acquaintances, finding things in common. Yeah. And bringing more people in, because you always are bringing more people in. That's yeah, absolutely. Are. I mean, I would always say that language and music and they're my two main backgrounds have made for me I've got loads of intergenerational friendships which I just probably wouldn't have were it not for Manx and were it not for music so I would say for people you know it's a great way of meeting people like-minded people as well and making new friends. So where can people get the brochures and is it online <laughs> obviously as well that sort of thing? It is yeah you can find the program online if you go to www.learnmanx.com it's actually on the home page you can click through you can find uh, printed copies of these programs all around the island um, been putting in them in various places you can certainly get them in places like the Welcome Centre um, in Douglas if you wanted to definitely get your hands on some but they're, they're scattered around all over the place and as I say that's in Manx and, and in English nice. bilingual um, and you'll see posters up around the place for different events as well and general Koosh posters so keep your eyes peeled because there's a lot of promo out there for okay. it. Go to learnmanx.com for all the information. Thank you.